talk about the use of dot product, okay, the definition of dot product is A dot B is equal to magnitude of A magnitude of B cosine theta. So when you see cosine theta, always think of dot product, okay? Always think of dot product. Now, the derivation of this comes from the cosine rule, which I'm not going to bore you into it because A dot B is equal to magnitude of A magnitude of B cosine theta. It's an easy concept to remember, okay? The derivation comes from the cosine rule, okay? But I'm not going to bore you with it, all right? If you want it, I'm going to do it in another video, okay? So if I make cosine theta the subject, then cosine theta is equal to A dot B over the magnitude of A and magnitude of B. Now, if you put it in a more serious form, what is A over magnitude of A and B over magnitude of B? All these are just A hat, which is a unit vector of A and B hat, a unit vector of B. If you cannot remember what is unit vector, please go to the second video in front okay, to understand it. Now, when we want to find the angle, the two vectors must be either pointing away or pointing together. Okay, So these are actually just displacement of vectors. So if you have... If you want to find the obtuse angle, then you have to find the acute angle, then minus 360 minus off, then you can get the okay, obtuse angle. And for this, why is this wrong? Because again, vectors can be displaced, right? When we do this, A is actually looking like this. We are actually looking, getting the angle here and we are unable to get the angle here. So be careful. Remember, the two, angle, the two vectors must be either pointing in the same direction or pointing away. Okay. So an application of angle between the vector as well as another line. I'm just going to use this as an example. So I'm talking about C between C and the positive y axis. Okay, so again, like I remember I told you that x, y, z now is in a different form. Okay, x is in this direction, y is in this direction, and z is always pointing upwards. But like I say, this is not really important for you. So when something is on the y axis, it just means that x equals to 0, z equals to 0. In two, in, in two dimensional, same thing. If I want to find the x intercept, what do I do? I sub y equals to 0, right? So in the three dimensional, same thing. x equals to 0 and z equals to 0. So now I'm talking about c, which is 2, 3, 6, as well as the y axis 0, 1, 0. Okay? I just need to apply it. So if you cannot remember how to apply it, or let's write down, okay, A dot B is equals to magnitude of A, magnitude of B, cosine theta. Okay, put this in, 2, 3, 6 dot 0, 1, 0 is equals to the magnitude of 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square. And the mag and a y axis is a unit vector actually. So this guy is just 1. The magnitude of B is just 1. Or you can just square root of 0 square plus 1 square plus 0 square, you will still get 1. Okay, cosine theta. And now work this out. x times x, 2 plus 3 plus 0, 2 plus 3. So this is 5 is equal to square root of 4 plus 9 plus 36. Oh, and that will actually give you 49. Cosine theta is equal to 5 over square root 49, 7. And you can just immediately find out theta by using your calculator and doing an inverse cosine 5 over 7 and you can get the answer. Okay, even if the answer is a negative, right, you still can cosine inverse. When you cosine inverse, when you cosine inverse a negative value, you are just going to get an obtuse angle. Okay, I'm not going to talk about too much technicality about this. Okay, yeah, when you, you can cosine inverse, you still can cosine inverse a negative value in this case and you will still get a, you will get a obtuse angle. Okay. And a result of angle between two vectors is if you see a dot b equals to zero. Okay, if you see a dot b equals to zero, and a first a cannot be a zero vector, and b and is also not a zero vector. Then it means that a dot b equals to zero means that the a is perpendicular to b. Why? Because cosine ninety degree is equals to uh, zero. Okay, cosine 90 degree is equal to 0. So this just means that this angle, this vector and this vector A and B, right, they have 90 degree. So because I cosine 90 equals to 0, right, that's why A dot B uh, is equal to 
0. So when you see A dot B equals to 0, it means that they are perpendicular. Or if they ask you to prove, to prove A dot B is, oh, sorry, prove that A perpendicular to B, then all you need to find, show is A dot B uh, equals to 0. 